to Tech with TIG. Today we're going to talk about Wide Area Application Services, or WAS, and what happens when there are servers local to the Edge Way engine, but are not on the same subnet as the client trying to make the connection. Specifically, how this relates to the SIFS protocol. We're going to talk about a latency check that happens during the sys auto discovery so let's take a look at this cisco was has a control that during the sys file server auto discovery it checks to see if the file server that the client's trying to access is more than two milliseconds away so we can see this client a here on network one makes a sys connection to this core server over here on network 3. The way engine will make a ping request to that server, get a reply, and if that reply is more than two milliseconds, it goes ahead and does optimization across this WAN link here in the center. If, however, this client were to try and access these local servers down here on the same side of the WAN, the edge way would then ping those servers, get a reply back in, let's just say two milliseconds or less. It would then understand that this is a local server and place that traffic into bypass mode. There are some circumstances where you may want to change this two millisecond time, that is the default time. You may also want to just turn the whole thing off for some reason. I'm not going to go into those right now, but let's just say you have a good reason and you want to change it or turn it off. Let's go see how we do that. We're going to log in here and we've got on this demo system, default username and password. I'm sure you've changed yours. So you want to put this particular error on the screen. And where we make these changes or turn it off is actually out at the edge devices. So we can go into devices here. And then we'll go into our branch way. It's going to bring up the branch way GUI and we're going to select device GUI in this particular case to go out and directly talk to that way. Size this. Alright, now that we're in our branch way this is our WAFS Edge device, as we can see here. We need to go into expert mode. Set our address bar. And in our address bar, we're going to enter expert mode by typing expert after the port number and the first forward slash. Once in expert mode, you'll see on the left hand side, we can see the word Rx, select Rx. That then brings up the grouping that we're after, and that is under SIFS Auto Discovery. And then inside SIFS Auto Discovery, we have several attributes. Now, to change this two-minute second, 
seconds to get to a local server. Local server meaning you don't have to cross a wide area network. You might change this to three or four milliseconds so that it would immediately just bypass that and not try and make a connection. So that's where we would change the value here, this value here. Uh, enable direct latency check. You can see it's just boolean. So we would change this and type false if we wanted to completely turn it off. Now please don't make any of these changes unless you have a very good reason to. Um, this is not something that should just be arbitrarily changed. Make sure you know what you're doing, make sure there's a specific reason for it. Once you've made these changes, go down and click the save button bottom left hand side and then click cancel so I'm on a demo system and that's it everyone so remember take a look back at this video if you need to uh, what we're talking about is changing the amount of time that it senses for a ping to know whether to bypass traffic or to try and accelerate that traffic. This happens at the Edge Way Engine. This is SIFS related only, so it's part of the LOFS portion of Cisco WAS. As with anything else, always be sure to check with your local channel engineer, your local Cisco engineer, to make sure what you're doing uh, is within best practices. Make sure you know why you're making these changes. Have a great day, and thank you very much for listening to Tech with Ty.